clapped me. They broke my head. They broke my hands. They broke my will. They tore my eyes out. They took my voice away. They didn't do anything to my heart because I didn't bring it with me. They clapped me again. But this time my head did not fall off in pieces. That was because they were so good and they felt sorry for me. The judges. You didn't know the judges? I was good and quiet. I never dropped my smile. I smiled at everyone. If I stopped smiling, I would get clubbed because they love me. They say they love me. I go along with it because if I don't, <laughs> I told them that the stinking parts of the body are the most important ones. The genitals, the anus, the mouth, the armpit. All important parts except the armpit. And who knows, maybe the armpit's important too. That's what I said. And he said that all those parts must be kept clean and put away. He said that a woman's entrails are the heaviest things on earth. And to see the image of a woman running creates a disparate and incongruous image in the mind. It's anti-aesthetic. Therefore, women should not run. Instead, they should strike positions that take into account the weight of their entrails. He said Goya's Maha, for example, Rubens women are not aesthetic. Flesh. He said that a woman's bottom should be placed in a cushion, otherwise it's revolting. He said there are exceptions. Ballet dancers are exceptions. They can run and lift their legs because they have no entrails. Isadora Duncan had entrails, and therefore she should not have danced. But she danced, and for this reason became crazy. She wasn't crazy. <laughs> she was! He said that I had to be punished because I was getting too smart, but I'm not smart. I never was. Neither is Fefu smart. And they are after her too. Well, she's still walking! Of the masculine gender, the human being is born as child, grow as a human being, which is me. You don't think I'm gonna argue with them, do you? I repented. I told them what they wanted to hear. They killed me. The bullet didn't hit me, it hit the deer. But I died, and he didn't. And then I repented, and the deer died, and I lived, and he said live, but crippled. And if you tell. But why do you have to kill Fefu? For she's only a joker. Not kill, cure. Cure her, he said. Will it hurt? My dear, they want your light. Your precious light. Oh dear, 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 dear. Not cry. I'll say my prayers. I'm saying them right now. Look, the human being is of the masculine gender. The human being is boy, is child, and grown. He is man. Everything on earth is for the human being, which is man. There are evil things on earth and noxious things. Evil and noxious things are on earth for man also. For him to fight with and conquer and turn its evil into good. Mm. There, are, there are evil plants, evil animals, evil minerals. And women are evil. Woman is not a human being. She is one. A mystery, two, another species, three, as yet undefined, and four, unpredictable, therefore wicked, and gentle, and evil, and good, which is evil. 
If a man commits an evil act, he must be pitied. The evil comes from outside him, through him, and into the act. Woman generates the evil herself. God created no other mate for man but woman. The oxen is good, but is not made for a man. The sheep is good, but is not made for a man. The mate for man is woman, and that is the cross the man must bear. A man is not spiritually sexual, therefore he can enjoy sexuality. His sexuality is physical, which means his spirit is pure. Woman's spirit is sexual. That is why, after coitus, they dwell in nefarious feelings, because that is their natural habitat. Their sexual feelings remain with them until they die, and they take those feelings with them into the afterlife where they corrupt the heavens and are sent to hell, where through suffering they may shed those feelings and return to earth as man. And when I forget the judges, I will believe the prayer. They say that both happen at once and that all women have done it. Why can't I? <laughs> <laughs> 